Built in 1900 on the site of the old Reed Springs Hotel, the Oddfellows Home District, now the Belvoir Winery, was originally constructed in order to care for orphans and the elderly family members of the International Order of Oddfellows. In addition to the main building of the winery, there are also three other buildings on location that service the residents in their active years. To the right of the winery, or the original administrative building for the Oddfellows home, is the nursing home. It was built in 1955 on the original site of a schoolhouse that once stood there to educate the orphans that lived on the property. Also located in the center of the property is the old folks home. It is also the largest remaining building on the property. At one point, this building housed and cared for over 300 adults and children residing at the Oddfellows home district. In the northernmost building on the property is the old hospital. In 1923, the hospital was built when it was decided that the old folks home needed such a facility. For some time, the old hospital was the only one of its kind in the City of Liberty, though the hospital quickly became obsolete with the advancement of new technologies. The staff of the hospital found it difficult to maneuver beds and other pieces of equipment through the narrow halls and tight corners. Known for its historical contributions to Liberty, Missouri, the Oddfellows home is also known for some of its many stories of ghosts haunting its long halls. And on a cold day in February, we decided to pack up and head to Liberty, Missouri to hear and experience some of these stories for ourselves. Our host, Brian Davidson, gave us a tour of some of these buildings located on the property. We started off on the third floor of the winery also known as the Old Oddfellows Administrative Building. This room is considered the most haunted room. Uh, during our public investigations, this is one room where the group comes in, they sit in a circle. Um, this gentleman and his wife, the couple, uh, the gentleman was a skeptic, the wife was a believer. And he wanted her to sit on the opposite side of the circle just so she wouldn't play a trick on him. Uh, he stood up, ran downstairs, and the lead investigator was monitoring all the thermal imaging downstairs with yeah. night vision cameras. Right. Uh, he paid for six hours and left within two. Uh, we found out that um, someone tugged on his coat jacket. No kidding. That would have that, that would tug, like a kid's tugging. And this was a classroom. Uh, we've had uh, two distinct different footsteps. We've had an adult footstep and a kid's footstep. The thing is, like, if you're on, you may still hear on the main floor above us. If like I go down there, or I, you guys go on the uh, main floor and go on the second floor and walk, you can't hear me. You only hear me when I stop. And yet, we've heard a kid's footstep before. No kidding, that's strange. Nice. It's a unique feature to have. Holy smokes. Oh, oh God. I hear that. Um, I don't expect that. First time I came up here, that guy's hit me twice. Yeah. Same day. Uh, these are the only remaining chalkboards. Oh, so okay. Of course, that have come up here and wrote the stuff on it. But I don't think anyone's ever really tried that. Getting readings off the top floors, but might be an idea. Uh -huh. This floor is probably the only floor we've actually. 
actually heard footsteps. Um, again, it's like if we were to walk, people below us can't hear us. Mm -hmm. You actually have to stop. And of course, Jesse, who's our CEO, is my fraternity brother as well. So it's yeah, he's a graduate. From yeah, Julius. we have Joel. Nice. Uh, but they came up here, and like this table over here, um, pretty much exact same setup. We have the uh, I think they call it saw horses or yeah. Basically, the entire table shifted. They're really sturdy because you have basically eight legs holding holding table up, and this entire thing shifted. I wasn't here, but they were. Um, they, they basically came up here, was walk, looking around, and they saw the ship, and they ran. But she can tell the story better. Nice. Wow. This is a Nodfella uh, ritual robe. This one on the right is a, or I guess your left, uh, a uh, Rebecca's Lodge, which Rebecca's Lodge is like the female version of the Oddfellas. Okay. Uh, got ritual robes, or not ritual robes, but ritual swords on the back table. Sure, yes. Ready to go across? Yeah, sure. Set yeah. bats. Bats. Great. Is that they actually locked the residents in at night or yeah. during the day. Okay. And there's an easier way to get to the second floor. Wow. This is crazy. I was thinking that was stairs leading down, but no. Kind of, I think it's the basement down there. I still know how to, there's no other way to get down there. Oh, okay. Not, there's no stairs or anything that you found there's yet? There's stairs here. There's stairs by the banister, and those are given way as well. Wow. I used to have one of those in high school. back into this room or this area and saw a shadowy figure right here. Yeah. Called Jesse, hey, we think you have a homeless guy here. And I was like, no, you guys are the only people on the property. Huh. So then they set up all the equipment here and then they caught a shadowy figure down that corridor, like a, like a, head, like a head and upper torso, leaning out of a room, like yeah. back at here and going back in. Wow. Um, they've also cap captured um, Missed, I don't know. Oh, yeah. The, uh, up near the, um, kind of the fire stairs. the fire bell up there in the corner. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, they, so, so you consider this is a kind of a hot, hot spot? Hot spot, yeah. And then they actually have a recording, I haven't seen it, but of like pan, panning down, but look like going down here, and as they pan down, they saw a tile break. Ooh, ah. With no one stepping on it. Hmm. 109. Remember that? 109. Yeah. Is it windowless? 
Yeah, well, no, not that I know of. Investigation. I told someone to do it, and they got halfway up and were like, "I oh, know, I've, I've seen um, too many scary movies." So oh, they, they check okay. it out. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's still on there, pretty good. You want to go ahead and go update? I give it a shot. You see? Yeah. Hopefully, it holds 200 pounds. Ah. <laughs> what is that sound? This mud. Okay. Anything else? A few boards, buckets. Uh, nothing really. Yeah. Crazy. Oh. This thing just keeps going. There we go. Okay. Now, why is there a bunker here? Uh, it's actually cold storage. Um, you guys can see the roof. The outside uh -huh. is actually two shafts. Shaft here, the shaft over here. Uh, during the day, during the harvest, they would throw whatever they were harvesting down the chutes and they would um, sort or put down here for cold storage. Gotcha, okay. Its main purpose was cold storage, but being a bunker, bunker shaped it's really nice for shelter yeah so for, I'm guessing for severe thunderstorms or whatever they would seek shelter in here and this is where they did, did the ring around the rosy and they got that EVP oh. wow all right you guys back here first. And again, this was the, uh, the hospital. Uh, this room back here. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, I thought I saw something. Little bird. Look, he's trapped. Uh, this was the, um, the operating room. Operating room, wow. 
Have you had any big like experiences that you've heard of in here? Uh, not in here. Actually, I haven't looked at anything with the hospital. Really? Okay. I don't know if people just don't. I think they just pay more attention to the the old folks' home because that's where they've been told the most activity. And the, I'm sure there's many VPs over here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. That gum bird. Oh, oh, good. We need the bird whisper. As you notice, you can touch those walls. You go to any hospital today, you can fit like four or five people across. Wow, yeah. 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 You probably could even fit a modern day gurney through the hallway, let alone into a bedroom or a, yeah. a hospital room. Let's go back. Go up, stickers. The brig's not the best in every haunted place. Um, and then, of course, this used to be two more rooms. Uh, I guess it's probably in there somewhere to get to the attic. But the tornado kind of got rid of it. We finished up the tour of the buildings we would be investigating. Then we headed back to gear up for the long, cold night ahead of us. Wow, what a scene. Good night for ghost hunting. Yep. I say that now. <laughs> Always starts that way. Okay team, we're at the Belvoir Winery. Are you guys excited? It sounds like you just laid down some definitions over there. Uh -huh. That was good. Okay. Uh -huh. So here we got a little bit more gear on tonight. We're in super pursuit mode. I'm got to take home base with us. I had one quick question. Okay. Um, how many tapes do you bring? I got four. You post that, or just oh yeah, because you got four hour juice right there. So. Eight hour juice. Yeah right. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Eight um, hours. Excuse me. Um, eight hours of uh, paranormal uh, investigation juice right there. Yep. It's all in that one little box that uh, little, that little piece that he has there. Sweet. So, right, good. Okay. Don't you know how excited we are? <laughs> Fantastic. Can that face open the door? <laughs> no. Okay, cool. This is the test for the uh, creeps, ghosts, commandos. That's right, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go commando. That's right, man. Right. All right, Belvoir Winery, get started. We decided to start off our investigation in the last building that we toured earlier in the day, the old hospital. Oh, man. This is like, oh, I don't really want to step into this. Got to, man. I gotta face my fears. Yeah. This is the day that I have to face my fears and just get jump and just uh, hopefully I don't run. That's all. What's there to be afraid of in here? Paranormal. Good call. Go creeps. Go creeps, dude. Dark in here. No. So, uh. Well, we can stand right here in the middle, start asking some questions, and then let the questions filter out throughout the rooms. Yes, we do need to introduce ourselves. My name is Adam. I'm here with my brother Alec and Gideon Coyle. Hello. Is there anybody else with us tonight?
We're not here to bother you. We're just here to um, uh, investigate. If you're, if we're invading your space, please, um, please make a sound. Try and talk to us. See if we can hear you. I'm feeling not easy right now. You know what? No, I'm just. I'm just afraid, that's all. Nothing to be afraid of. Hospitals are scary. Just here to visit. That's, that, that's what I'm afraid of, is hospitals too. It's just for now, that really, uh, Oh, God! 